Alright guys, it is Friday. It doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I work all week long. Uh, but here's what we get going on. Didn't really have much of a good day today. Um, I went up to two dealerships today. Two of them. First dealership I went to was a John Deere dealership. They had to have been three football fields wide filled with John Deere tractors. You name it, there was a fucking John Deere tractor there. Lawn tractor wise anyway, there was only one big tractor there. Um, LT 120s between the GT series and the hydrostatic sons of bitches, they had it. Unbelievable. Never fucking seen it in my life. I have a photo of it and I'll post it right here somewhere. I don't know, I'll post it somewhere. But, um, unbelievable. So we get there. I am completely amazed on how many friggin' John Deere tractors there are. If PJ was there, he probably would have came in his pants right there, because he's a big, big John Deere fan. Well, I find a few little tractors I like, I feel like I want to bring home with me. I ask him how much it is. How much it is. He goes, oh, I want 300 for this one, 400 for this one, 1000 for that one. I'm like, okay. Well, I'm quite expecting that. So then I pick out like a ratty looking one. I mean, this thing was completely gone. I'm thinking that like, the guy will just give it me. It was all 100 bucks. I'm like, holy shit. So I finally find these three tractors I like. And uh, I said to the guy, how much you want for this John Deere L120? It, it was, uh, the fenders had a little rust on, the deck had a little rust on it, it was kind of sort of rotted, um, but it had 24, no, 20 horse, uh, Briggs and Tech in it, um, and none of these things run or anything like that, and the guy's like, 300 bucks, I go, can you throw anything in with it, he goes, no, I, I can't really, so I looked around a little bit more, I find these two other tractors he gave me a deal on, he wanted like, 500 bucks for two of them, they were two John Deere Scott series, uh, one of the more GT styles, wasn't really worth it. They both had motors in them. One needed a valve job or a head gasket. He wasn't sure what it needed. And the other one, he said, should fire, but not really sure. Um, and they had liquid cooled John Deere's. They had every fucking John Deere. I saw probably about 200 John Deere 111's. Um, the one that I restored, saw 100 of them. I was amazed. And uh, these things look fucking nicer than the ones that I fucking restored. I was amazed. I was like, holy shit, and these actually have mower decks on them. So at least I know where to get a John Deere 111 if I ever need it. But, uh, fucking full blown John Deere dealership. Couldn't even make a fucking deal. They want way too much money for it. Um, eventually, I'll go back up and I'll get something from them. But, um, it just won't be right now. Because right now, what I have to do is I, if I have to buy one of those, I have to store it and I'll be waiting for till fucking summer comes. And summer ain't coming anytime soon. Because apparently we're getting snow. I doubt that very much. But anyway, it doesn't snow here. But anyway, I lucked out. I um, On the way home, I stopped at a Wendy's. And I said to one dude in line, I go, hey, is there any power equipment places around here? Uh, he said, oh yeah, there's one actually about a quarter of a mile down the road. Go, All right. So I go to this place. And well, uh, older gentleman there, I think they were probably just getting ready to go under. Um, so he's like, oh yeah, just go up back, take a look what you want. So I'll show you what I picked up from this place. We first got a, um, it's a Hosfarna Rototiller. It's a 1990, 1994. Um, thing was pretty decent. Um, I think it's a little bit newer than a 1994 because it just, it's a little bit too nice. Um, you know, that's, I mean, this is fairly newer. I think the motor might have been just maybe a different motor. I, I don't really know. But uh, what the deal is, the handlebars, same spot as like every single Hosfarna auto till I've ever seen, is they always break down here. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna weld something together. I haven't fully figured out how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna weld something together. Um, the dude said you can buy the piece, he didn't know how much the piece was. But I think I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna weld it, save some money, you know. Because, I mean, this whole piece is the handlebars assembly and everything, so. Yeah, it'll probably be a little bit more 
easier just to weld it. Probably put a pipe or something or sleeve it and just weld something on it. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. But uh, it's a pretty decent looking machine. I didn't see if it fired or not. I don't even know if it's got gas in it. We could see what happens, but I doubt it will fire. You just got a little gas into it. Let's see. Alright. Joke. Let's see. Just want to make sure there's no on off switch. Mm, fast. We want it super fast. Probably going to be cleaned up. But, uh, we also picked up this little thing. It's a Honda Harmony. Uh, one ten eleven. I don't know if it's a ten horse. I don't know if it's an eleven horse. I don't know, but it's a pretty decent looking machine. Um, for the entire load, I paid one hundred and seventy bucks for it, and uh, I mean it's an all right deal. It isn't the greatest deal in the world. Um, I don't know what's up with it. I just threw a battery in it to see what happened, and uh, nothing really happened. My battery was kind of sort of dead, so. Um, Waiting for this thing to kind of sort of charge a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. But it's a pretty decent looking machine, you know. It's probably got like one of them 30 inch decks on it, so whatever. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, and also, I got this little push mower. I got this one little push mower out here. So it's, I mean, it's alright looking. I mean, it ain't the prettiest looking thing, but it'll bring a couple bucks, you know. So I picked this up. It does run. I had it just fired on the uh, friggin' the electrical cleaner. <laughs> so at least I know it runs. But um, you know, it's gonna be a little work. I bet. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know if it drives or whatever. But um, yeah, it wasn't really the best looking friggin' load that I ever gotten. But it's better than nothing. It'll keep me busy for a little while instead of saying I'm bored. I'll make sure you guys get a video. So, but I'm gonna first start on this project here. Uh, maybe later on the weekend I'll work on this, and then next week I might break out a few push mowers and do a couple push mower tune-ups, you know. But uh, let's see if this thing will fire right now. Got on the charger for about I don't know, ten minutes now. I have a feeling my battery is completely decked. We'll see what happens. I just want to see if the starter will move. All right, so it sounds like the uh, the starter might be stuck. So I'm gonna try and get this thing going today, see what happens and different things. But one thing about these Hondas is they don't like to come apart, so that's gonna sort of suck. But I'll figure it out one way or another. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah. All right, so uh, here's what we got going on with the Honda. Oh. Looks to be a little bit different. Well, first off, I think I need to go to Harbor Freight this weekend and get myself a new air hose. Because this one is junk. Um, so we all heard that little clicking noise before. I couldn't figure it out. I went through a couple of things trying to figure out what it was. And I thought it was a dead battery or something, but I guess not. It actually was the entire friggin' starter. Oh yeah. The friggin' starter was all seized up on like cast aluminum piece but I got it uh, I got it spinning pretty good now so now I just gotta freaking put everything back together which this is gonna suck for this part because this part's always this part here always gives me like the hardest problems with it trying to align that stupid little bearing in the bottom make sure the magnets uh, get it just right but overall everything looks pretty good I might clean that up on the inside it looks just a little bit corroded so it won't take much with a little bit of wire brush um, but, uh, yeah, so that's what we got going on, that's why I wasn't starting, but, um, it does have compression, which is pretty sweet, um, so I don't have to wait and see, but I was looking at this, and this thing's got quite the friggin' exhaust system, I thought the exhaust was, like, right here, no, no, the exhaust, like, comes friggin' around over here, and then loops around over there, and you can kind of sort of see it right there. And then it comes back over here and then chooches into over here. It's like, holy, 
Why not just freaking go boop, boom, done? No, no. They got to go all the way around and I don't know. But this Hondas are not the simplest thing to work on. You got to have a lot of freaking patience. And I don't even know how I haven't gone freaking nuts yet, but I'm getting there. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably about 2.30 maybe? 3 o'clock? 2.46, I'll look like. Come on. 2.46 and it's 59 degrees out and they're saying it's going to snow tomorrow. I doubt it's going to snow. We'll probably get probably about half a centimeter. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So it's it's coming along, you know. It just takes time on these Hondas. Um, I haven't tried firing this thing up yet. I guess I could probably throw a little bit of freaking carb junk in there real quick, see if it'll even fire. But, uh, yeah. So it's quite the freaking unit, though. I kind of like this one better than my Rototiller, just the reason being is because it's a Husqvarna. I'm a big, big Husqvarna fan, you know. So maybe I'll sell my old one and maybe just keep this one. I kind of like this one, you know. I think it might be the color. I think it might like bright things. I don't know. Overall, this thing's in pretty decent shape. I mean, usually there's like freaking 90 bazillion dents in this thing. This one, none. It's even with the little ag tires and different things, so... I don't know, we'll wait and see. Uh, this is one of those walk behind units. The handlebar comes to boat right here, and the thing freaking chooches out that way, so. Whatever, so I'm gonna hopefully get that started back together, and we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hopefully, once I have it on, we'll have it running. Yeah, freaking hope so. One of my favorite songs, Let It Snow. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's That says Let It Rain, sorry. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, here's what we got going on. We got the electric starter all put back together. Check it out. <laughs> Fucking awesome. That's my actually first ever starter rebuilt, pretty much. Um, that was actually really simple. Than the, the Hondas are more simple than the Briggs, I gotta say. That, that's for sure. Because one time I tried doing one of Briggs, and it just wasn't that easy. I don't know, but, uh... This one here seems to be pretty successful. I'm gonna pop that flywheel and the freaking fan on, and we should have a freaking running motor in a little bit. But I did have this thing uh, running, so this thing actually runs pretty damn nice. Um, one thing that made a little poop come out of me though is I went to go engage the uh, the augers, well, whatever you want to call them, the twines, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on. So it wasn't it wasn't moving like oh fuck don't tell me the gearbox fucked up well it turns out it's these little uh, freaking shifted things well if this thing's in neutral these things here won't even fucking move because that's what I've seen before I'm thinking oh Jesus they're moving too easy you know but no no if you put them in like it's T I don't know what that means pray till freaking it moves the wheels move and everything so that's awesome. But it does um, run pretty damn decent. I had it run quite a little while ago. And I'm gonna make sure we're neutral here. I don't wanna be friggin' rocking off the friggin' son of a bitch. Um, but it does run pretty good. I don't know if I'll fire up right now, we'll see. Almost. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta put uh, put this thing back on run. There we go. Well, I did have a running. Son of a bitch. My curb. There it is. Let's see. Obviously, it's going to need a carburetor to clean up and different things, but at least I know the fucking thing runs. <laughs> So maybe after once I get this thing done, maybe tomorrow I'll work on this Husqvarna tiller. It's a uh, CRT 35. I don't know what the 35 stands for, but um, yeah, I don't know. But we're gonna get this thing back together and cross our fingers that it will fire up and run. But uh, yeah, so yesterday, reason being why yesterday no video, I guess my freaking camera ran away on me. It said it needed a vacation or something, so I was like, holy, but last night, after once I uploaded yesterday's video, it freaking reappeared. Freaking unbelievable. I guess I went on vacation in the seat cushion. 
in my couch. So that's why there was no pretty much video yesterday. I spent quite a bit of time yesterday looking for it, and yesterday there wasn't really much even going on, so I just uploaded a little snippet of the truck. We got the truck all back together yesterday. Um, friggin' 110 bucks a line though. I don't know, it's pretty damn steep. It's too bad you couldn't make them, but uh, different things like that. But uh, yeah, so I guess this camera, I guess I need a vacation, I don't know. Friggin' kind of sort of unbelievable, like it couldn't leave me a note saying, oh yeah, I'm taking off, son of a bitch. But anyway, we're gonna go back together. Um, also last night I went to Best Buy. I was getting ready to pick up my iPhone last night. And then it kind of sort of hit me. I'm like, why the fuck am I buying this? So uh, I didn't really, like I was talking to one of my friends about it and he was saying, I can't believe you switched into an iPhone over an Android. And then it didn't quite click into me that they don't have friggin' uh, flash player on them and different things. So that's why I'm keeping my old phone. I said, fuck it, I'll save my 300 bucks for something else. So that 300 bucks is actually gonna buy me a new impact gun. And it's gonna buy me some new shocks for my truck. And it's gonna be buying me a new friggin' toolbox. I'll be buying another one of those probably this weekend. Because I like it so much that I want another one. I actually want two more of them, but two more is a little bit over the budget. So, I'm gonna buy one more. One just for my screwdrivers and different things and a couple of other little things. So, I'll have another one of these and I'll probably move some things around. I might. Probably move the press somewhere, move the box over, move that thing over someplace. I don't know, I might just stick it on Craigslist or something. PJ doesn't even use it anymore. He uses his box over there, so I don't know, maybe if he wants, he can take it home with him, but I don't really need it anymore. But, um, yeah, so we'll get this thing going, and maybe we'll even have it driving by the end of the day. But I did I did notice when I put this thing on the truck, because I got to get a tube for it, tube for the tire or something, maybe just throw some of that slimy shit in there. But uh, yeah, so overall it's a pretty decent looking machine. Um, I, mean, I wish it had the little flapper piece, but what can you do, you know, what can you do? You can't have everything in life, especially when it comes to finding a rear tube for your damn friggin' tire. Holy, still can't find one. So once I go up to Walmart, maybe this weekend I'll look for one. So. Yeah, anyway, we'll carry on and uh, see what more trouble we can get into. Alright, well, I got the flywheel back on, the magneto back on, and different things like that. So, I have yet to fire this thing, so we're going to see if this thing will actually run. I already dumped a little bit of carb cleaner in it. Uh, I don't think it'll be sucking up any gas, because I ain't got the gas thing mounted yet. Oop. Probably shouldn't lose that. Just making sure I get everything out of there. Uh, so it looks like we should be all set. I got the brake on, and let's see if they will freaking crank over. Fucking right, it did. Look at the chooch in here. Holy. Son of a bitch. We locked the damn door. I guess we're looking for this one. There we go. Let the freaking chooch come in. I mean, come out. <laughs> Can't believe the thing even ran. That's awesome. Well, at least I know it runs, so I guess we'll have to get everything back together. And we'll have to take it for a test drive and a test mow. First friggin' mow of the year, probably. This is actually the first fucking riding lawnmower that we've worked on, or started to put back together, this year. So, I don't know. This is our first, actually this is our first bot tractor of the year. Nope, no, no. Well... Yeah, this is our first bought tractor of the year. We had that Murray in, but that wasn't bought. That was just a freebie. But, uh, sweet. So, we'll get this thing uh, all buttoned up and we'll be good to go in a little bit. Fucking right. Just look at the friggin' chooch. Ooh. All right, well, I guess uh, Honda likes to hide some stuff. I couldn't figure why the son of a bitch wasn't starting. Got a nice little on off switch right there. <laughs> Couldn't figure that part out. Starting to uh, figure out why there's no fuel getting to the carburetor bowl because I already took the carb bowl off, cleaned it, and it wasn't working. So I was like, what the hell? So I just happened to move this thing. Like, oh, well, freaking son of a bitch in there. But I got the uh, carb bowl on. Let's, uh, let's make sure these are free before I start running it. Yeah, they're free. Actually, you know what? I should probably put some oil in this thing before I do run this. So I'm going to throw some oil in this, and we're going to fire this bitch up. 
I want to I want to drive this thing now. Yeah, freaking Honda suck. Man, that freaking fuel shut off is starting to kill me. Well, I just got done putting everything back together, uh, as you can see, except for the little top part, which isn't nothing. But uh, so what I did was I went and put some oil into it, and I put the cap on. Then I put the uh, air cleaner box back on, and I guess what happens is you have to you have to turn off the fuel in order to put this box in. And then I went over, did a few things. I went in the house, grabbed a couple of drinks, something like that, relaxed, and then I came back out here and started cranking it over. Couldn't figure out what the fuck wouldn't wouldn't start. So always remember that leave your fuel on. Whoops. So we're gonna finally crank this bitch up. And we're going to see if it'll run on the curb without any ether. Let's see. Fucking son of a bitch. I think we might have to crack a door. So once this bitch fires up completely, I'm driving. Son of a bitch. i got to get this door fixed. It's going to drive me crazy. Let's try her again. All right, I gotta figure some different things out. So we'll get this thing going. And once we do, we'll get it fired. Probably gotta clean the garbage. Probably get some bad gas something into it. So now I gotta redo the gas. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it did smell a little iffy, but we'll get her going. This is what the neighborhood looked like about two minutes ago. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I'm guessing there's just a little bit of oil in the cylinder. Holy shit, it didn't help either because I kind of sort of overfilled it with oil. Oh yeah, just a little choochy in here. Yeah, I think I gotta drain some of that oil. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna videotape out here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so at least the uh, mower does run and drive pretty damn nice and it mows too. But uh, I think we gotta drain out some of that oil. I think I may have put a little bit too much into it. Son of a bitch. So we're gonna get the oil somewhat drained out of it. I think I put a little bit too much in. And uh, we'll just freaking have at her again. <laughs> you should have just seen the freaking neighborhood. It was just, it looked exactly like this. But, um, yeah, Oof. holy, I think I had about nine cars stop and look and see if the house was on fire. But, uh, anyone want to buy some tires and rims? They set. Freaking bastard. Fucking rims are all fucked up and everything. Oh, well, hundred bucks down the drain. Son of a bitch. But I was thinking about keeping, um, two of them. And maybe use them as like a log splitter. So I want to build a log splitter in the summertime. I think it'd be pretty cool if I put those on it. You know, I don't know. I might just fucking scrap them. You can't really do much with it with them. You can sandblast them, but it'd take forever just to sandblast these things. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drain the oil out of this, and I think we'll be pretty much done for the day because I've had enough of my dose of freaking shop fumes for one day. Holy. Definitely a little better. Uh, I got some of it out, but I still got to drain a shitload more. <laughs> Holy fuck, I way overfilled it. I don't know what happened. But, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till the morning. I just wanna run it just so I can show you guys. I wanna run it until the morning, just so I can get the exact amount of measurement, because there's still a bunch on the sidewalls and different things. I mean, I still gotta 
still got quite a bit going on there, so I'll have to drain a little more out. And once that's done, just uh, before you can have her re because there's still a lot of oil in the cylinder, so it'll take about a good two minute ride. But uh, overall, this thing rides really smooth. A little sandbox on the front side, we can't pop wheelies. I'll we'll have to remove that. But uh, yeah, so overall, it's a pretty good machine. I mean, I only paid 100 bucks. Well, actually, I paid 170 bucks for everything you see here, which is the that push mower, that rototiller, and uh, this son of a bitch. But I wonder if I have a Honda push mower. Because I was thinking, if I have a Honda push mower, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do like a package deal. See if someone will fall for it. Maybe saw like a lawnmower and a riding lawnmower together. So I'll have to go underneath there tomorrow and uh, see what I got back there. I think I might have a Honda. I don't know. Let me just take a quick look on the other side. Come on. There we go. Let's see what I got real quick. Let's see, we got a Craftsman, Craftsman, Murray, uh, looks like a Toro, Toro, yeah, so no Honda, stem. that kind of soda sucks, but oh well, what can you do? But uh, yeah, so... I guess uh, I guess we're done for the day. I gotta put the uh, cover back on the snowmobile. Out of that thing running yesterday, uh, different things like that. So yeah, just getting some bunch of stuff ready for the New Hampshire trip. Come uh, not next week, but the week after that, we're we're heading up. I want uh, just want I want to let everyone know uh, the 22nd through the twenty uh, fourth. Yeah, the 24th, there possibly might not be any videos because we'll be in uh, New Hampshire and I think it's going to be me, PJ, and my dad and possibly one of my other uncles and we're going to be up there snowmobiling. Uh, we're going to be in Pittsburgh and we're right on the Canadian border. Um, so if any of you guys just happen to be living up there, anywhere near Pittsburgh, uh, let me know, 7 p.m. if you guys want to meet up. Uh, I mean, I'm not obviously going to go to you. I'm already driving four and a half hours up there. You would have to come to me, but I mean, if anyone else is right on that borderline, I think if I were Quebec is, so I don't know if anyone's up there and wants to say hi. So we'll be up in that area, so whatever. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to move this thing out here, drive that in here, and, uh, yeah, you guys want a long video, so here you go. Here's a long one for you. Holy. So uh, tomorrow we're going to... Do a little work on this thing and a little work on that craftsman. So, uh, yeah, so until tomorrow, guys, we'll talk to you guys later. And just remember one thing Honda's our bitch to work on.